problems earlier, but it seems to be getting a little better. So teams are going to work up a sweat tonight. LSU will control the tip. They are headed to our left. We are underway. Into the front court, Hill will lob it way up top to Jalen Reed. He's at the top of the key. Going to back it away. Pass uh, way out, still near half court is Justice Hill. Now he'll try to attack a little bit. Hill at the top of the key. Bounce pass, free throw line to K.J. Williams. Kicks it in the corner. Wilkinson, long jumper, three is good for Wilkinson. That's his shot, and he got it. Yeah, he likes that corner. Nice ball movement by LSU. Williams made the extra pass for the open shot in the corner by Mawani, and he nailed it. They run a little bit of a, a weave type action. Weaver into the lane. 12 footer, back iron, no good. Rebound. LSU's KJ Williams has it. If you heard us in the post game, we mentioned that nobody on this uh, UT Arlington team averages above eight and a half points a game, but they've had 10 different guys scoring double figures. So we can't tell you who to pinpoint or look out for tonight because we don't know. It could be anybody. Hill, top of the key to KJ Williams. We've played a minute, 3 0 LSU. Williams back to the bucket at the high post. He'll get it to Reed, who was going to dribble into the lane, and he lost it out of bounds. Ball looks like it slipped out of his hands and went into the baseline, and LSU will turn it over. Yeah, he, he's had, he had some issues trying to drive the ball a little bit too deep at times and has led to him turning the ball over. That was an example right there. Humphrey, who averages 6.6, will get it right wing to... Weaver at the top Gibson will swing it now left side to Humphrey Humphrey will go baseline lay it up off the glass No good a little bit too strong Hill the LSU rebound. He's in a hurry hits KJ Williams cutting to the basket and his shot is deflected out of bounds by a hustling Kyron Gibson I thought he got fouled when he was bringing the ball up to shoot it. It's a good pitch ahead He pitched ahead and I thought oh, there he got was some arm there. Sure, yeah. yeah Got a good replay of that and uh, there was some pretty good arm contact there, but LSU will inbound instead. It'll be middle Miller to get it into Hill, right of the top of the key. Pass left wing, Miller. Three ball is short, no good. Rebound batted by Reed. K.J. Williams has got it. Right-handed flip shot is no good. Cash the rebound for UT Arlington. Nice inbounds play off the double screen to get to get a shot for the three. He just did nail it, didn't knock it down. Humphrey right side of the lane, about a 10-footer is good. And it's 3-2 to two LSU by one. We've played two minutes. And Hill will make his way to the front court. Gets a high screen from K.J. Williams. We'll go to the left wing. Now back right wing to Reed. His three ball is good. The big fella from downtown, Jalen Reed, has just his second three of the night. But he confidently shot that one home at 6-2. to two. Yeah, second three of the year probably. Yeah, I, oh, if I said of the night, I meant to say of the yeah, he, No, not second one tonight, second one of the year. Yes. Coach was correct on that. Backdoor cut pass layup, no good by Wilson, but someone has fouled him, and he will get two free throws. That's a good shot for the big freshman to take. Reed has set his feet. The defense looks like they're not going to guard him out there. At least they're not then. And here's a screen and roll. They cleared out a side Ooh. and had a ball screen and roll and made the correct pass. And, Williams just hitting from the back. Well, I'm going to tell you, there was a lot less contact on that foul than there was when oh. Williams was not fouled on the other end. They are not a good free throw shooting team, although Wilson confidently drained that one. For the year, they are just 65%. Wilson, though, 68%. As a team, they only shoot 40% from the floor. The Tigers, 46.7. The LSU shoots a nice, respectable percentage from the floor in almost 47%. Missed that one. Long rebound into the corner taken by Jalen Reed. And at 6'10", he'll dribble it into the front court. Bounce pass on a backdoor cut to Adam Miller. It's deflected out of bounds, and it went off of Miller. And LSU will turn it over. Coach, you did mention about turnovers in the pregame. LSU has given it up a couple times here. Yeah, as, as long as it doesn't lead to easy baskets for Arlington, you know, if you're going to turn it over, do it like that, throw it out of bounds, you can set your defense because Arlington needs easy baskets on the other end, either by the turnover or the offensive rebound. Humphrey will get it uh, left wing for a drive, eight-footer off the glass, a runner by Cash, no good. Offensive rebound, Wilson. He'll kick it into the corner for a three that's no good by Gibson, and I think we have an Arlington foul on the rebound. No, we do not. We have an LSU foul on the rebound. I beg your pardon. Jalen Reed has picked up a foul. So LSU's two big guys both have a foul. Yeah, that was a couple offensive rebounds that Arlington was able to get in that segment right there. Now they have it inbound under on their second offensive rebound. 
Lob pass inbounds to Humphrey at long range. They are one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. 6-3 LSU. We've played three minutes. They average uh, about 15 of them a game. See if they can get second chance. Humphrey fires it down into traffic. Caught and missed uh, about a five-footer off the glass by Wilson. No good. Rebound tipped into the corner. Reed's got it for LSU. Reed's link bothered him on that shot. Miller, a shot fake. Dribbles around it. Three ball. Left of the top of the key is good for Adam Miller. LSU with three trays. It's 9-3. to three. Yeah, Miller shot that ball somewhat off balance and was still able to make the basket. Three, three threes for LSU this early in the game is a good, good sign. They are three of four from behind the arc. Humphrey at the top, 9-3 Tigers. Trey Hannibal will come in at the next dead ball for LSU. Cash at the top will get it left deep to Gibson. Goes top of the key. He's headed down the lane. He will stop. Bounce pass underneath. Wide open layup is good by Wilson, who's got three. So let's miscommunication by LSU. They didn't know if they were going to switch it. Both of them came with the dribbler off the screen. He rolled open door. Hill pass to Miller. Double clutch layup off the glass and in. Left side of the bucket. Good pass by Hill. Miller has five. 11 to five Tigers. Coach McMahon said they would overplay the passing lanes. And the way to do that is back, court, back cut for layups. Good back cut by LSU. Good feed. Good finish. Humphrey loses a dribble. He's on the floor. But from the floor, he throws it into a crowd is taken by Hill for LSU into the front court. Down the lane. We'll kick it right wing. Miller for three. It's too strong. No good. Rebound by Wilson. Good shot. Just didn't go in the bucket. Selection was good. That's Miller will hit that most of the time. There was nobody near it. Like LSU pushing the ball, getting up and down the floor, creating turnovers, then get out of transition. Humphrey will drive. He'll lay it up and in right side of the lane. Nobody wanted any part of him, apparently. 11 to 7. He beat Mwani off the bounce. Mwani's got to stay in the stance and guard the dribble penetration. 15 minutes to go. Next whistle will get us our first media timeout. 11 to 7, LSU by 4. Lob pass right side of the lane to K.J. Williams. Elbows his man down low. Turns. One-handed flip is good. About a five-footer. That's his go-to move right there, Patrick. Setting him up with the inside dribble, then turning to his strong hand, using his shoulder to screen the defender and doing that five-foot half-hook shot. And a foul is called for LSU, averaging 4.1 points per game. And there was another substitution for LSU. And they're going to pressure this Derek Fountain, 6'10 junior from Holly Springs, Mississippi, averaging four a game. He did not score against Wofford. Hannibal, uh, who played in the game 29 minutes and had... 12 points. Arlington looks like they've gone to a matchup zone. And LSU kind of figuring it out here on the perimeter. Miller finally now deep left wing with eight to shoot. Miller toward the top of the key. Had it poked away. It's going to go out of bounds near half court. LSU ball with four on the shot clock. LSU still trying to figure out what, what they came out in yeah, there. I think they went matchup zone. And with about 12 seconds on the shot clock, they went straight man to man. Miller will get it in the left corner to Fountain. Fade away 18-footer. Back iron no good. Rebound though K.J. Williams for LSU. Right side of the bucket. He's in the lane. Turn. Flip shot good. One-handed shot from about five feet away. As Coach said, that's his signature move. He's got four. Yeah, he's been very good the last four or five games, scoring off the block, which LSU really needs. Humphrey will get it right wing to Talbot, number five, who checked in. Brandon Talbot, 6'5", sophomore from Canada. Top of the key, Brandon Walker. He'll dribble in, take a 17-footer, no good. Rebound LSU's Hannibal goes up high for it. So some new faces in there also for uh, Arlington. Hannibal slipped down inside the half-court circle, and from his knees, Ended up throwing it out of bounds into the front row. I'm telling you, it's a little bit humid in here, Coach. And I think there's there might have been a slippery spot on the floor there. Players, uh, have a couple of them have had the ball slip out of their hands. I think that's going to be a thing here tonight. Yeah. Coleman will come in for LSU, Coach. Kendall Coleman, 6'8", junior, averaging a couple points a game. Yeah, Coleman always gives Williams a break. He always substitutes him at about the 14, 13-minute mark. That's what Coach McMahon did tonight. 15-7, to 7, LSU by 8, 13-25 to go in the first half from the Maravich Center. Humphrey between the circles. We'll get it left side over to Talbot. Back to Humphrey at the top. We'll head toward the right wing, being chased by Hill. Pass up top to Walker. Gets it right wing. Castro, catch and shoot three, hit the glass. Comes out long, taken by Hannibal. Hannibal will run a two on three. He'll get it to Miller for three. No good on the trail, taken by Humphrey. 
And Humphrey into the front court. Pass uh, right side to Walker. They'll get it back out to Humphrey, who is uh, pointing for people to move places. Humphrey inside the key. We'll get it right wing to Walker. Walker will try to go baseline on Fountain. He does. Leans in and lays it up with the left hand. That's a straight-up dribble drive. He got the bib to guard dribble penetration. Fountain didn't do a good enough job of that. He was able to drive him to the goal and just lay it in. 15-9. LSU lead is six. Walker has his first two of the game. Hill will get it right elbow to Fountain. Right wing over to Hannibal. Hannibal into the lane. Back out left wing Hill. His first shot of the night is a three, and it barely got the iron. But the offensive rebound and put back no good by Fountain, I believe. And, but he was fouled pretty good with 12-18 to go in the half. Well, LSU is doing what Arlington supposed to be doing is their strength offensive rebounding LSU got two in that sequence right there Which led to Fountain getting fouled and going to the free throw line with two attempts LSU at the line is a 74% shooting team Fountain 92% 12 out of 13 had that big game against UNO, then did not score against Wofford. Played well down in the Cayman Islands and came back the other night against Wofford and didn't play as well. And I thought he was trending in the right direction. But the game against Wofford set him back a little bit. Let's see if he can give us some valuable time and minutes and important plays tonight. And I talked Fountain out of the first free throw. He missed it. Miller is going to get a break. Will... Uh, Justice Hill, Wilkinson, Hayes is in for LSU. Cam Hayes, 6'2 junior from Greensboro, North Carolina, averaging six a game. Fountain gets the second one, so he is on the board. And it's 16 to nine, LSU by seven. Into the front court, Kyron Gibson will get it to a Cash. Aaron Cash, double zero, 6'6 six, six senior from San Francisco, starter back into the lineup. Pedro Castro, 6'6 six, six graduate in. Passes down on the baseline to Cash. He was in trouble, so he'll kick it back out on the left wing to Talbot. We're at the 12-minute mark, 10 to shoot. Talbot passes the top, Gibson, shot fake. Gets into the lane, lost the ball, but I think they're going to call a foul on Coleman of LSU. Get the number. Now going to get for LSU averaging 4.1 points per game. And there was another substitution for LSU. And they're going to pressure this Derek Fountain, 6'10 junior from Holly Springs, Mississippi, averaging four a game. He did not score against Wofford. Hannibal, uh, who played in the game 29 minutes and had 12 points. Arlington looks like they've gone to a matchup zone. And LSU kind of figuring it out here on the perimeter. Miller finally now deep left wing with eight to shoot. Miller toward the top of the key, had it poked away. It's going to go out of bounds near half court. LSU ball with four on the shot clock. LSU still trying to figure out what, what they came out in yeah, there. I think they went matchup zone, and with about 12 seconds on the shot clock, they went straight man to man. Miller will get it in left corner to Fountain. Fade away, 18-footer, back iron, no good. Rebound, though, K.J. Williams for LSU. Right side of the bucket. He's in the lane, turn, flip shot, good. One-handed shot from about five feet away. As Coach said, that's his signature move. He's got four. Yeah, he's been very good the last four or five games, scoring off the block, which LSU really needs. Humphrey will get it right wing to Talbot, number five, who checked in. Brandon Talbot, 6'5", sophomore from Canada. Top of the key, Brandon Walker. He'll dribble in, take the 17-footer, no good. Rebound LSU's Hannibal goes up high for it. So some new faces in there also for uh, Arlington. Hannibal slipped down inside the half-court circle, and from his knees, Ended up throwing it out of bounds into the front row. I'm telling you, it's a little bit humid in here, Coach. I think there's, there might have been a slippery spot on the floor there. Players, uh, have a couple of them have had the ball slip out of their hands. I think that's going to be a thing here tonight. Well, Coleman will come in for LSU. Coach Kendall Coleman, 6'8", junior, averaging a couple points a game. Yeah, Coleman always gives Williams a break. He always substitutes him at about the 14, 13 minute mark. That's what Coach McMahon did tonight. 15 to 7, LSU by 8, 13 25 to go in the first half from the Maravich Center. Humphrey between the circles. We'll get it left side over to Talbot. Back to Humphrey at the top. We'll head toward the right wing, being chased by Hill. Pass up top to Walker. Gets it right wing. Castro, catch and shoot three, hit the glass. Comes out long, taken by Hannibal. Hannibal will run a two on three. He'll get it to Miller for three. No good on the trail. Taken by Humphrey. And Humphrey into the front court. Pass uh, right side to Walker. They'll get it back out to Humphrey, who is uh, 
pointing for people to move places. Humphrey inside the key will get it right wing to Walker. Walker will try to go baseline on Fountain. He does, leans in and lays it up with the left hand. That's a straight up dribble drive. He got to be able to guard dribble penetration. Fountain didn't do a good enough job of that. He was able to drive into the goal and just lay it in. 15 to 9. LSU lead is six. Walker has his first two of the game. Hill will get it right elbow to Fountain. Right wing over to Hannibal. Hannibal into the lane. Back out left wing Hill. His first shot of the night is a three and it barely got the iron. But the offensive rebound and put back no good by Fountain, I believe. And But he was fouled pretty good with 12 18 to go in the half. Well, LSU is doing what Arlington's supposed to be doing is their strength, offensive rebounding. LSU got two in that sequence right there, which led to Fountain getting fouled and going to the free throw line with two attempts. LSU at the line is a 74% shooting team. Fountain, 92%, 12 out of 13. Had that big game against UNO, then did not score against Wofford. Played well down in the Cayman Islands and came back the other night against Wofford and didn't play as well. And I thought he was trending in the right direction. But the game against Wofford set him back a little bit. Let's see if he can give us some valuable time and minutes and important plays tonight. And I talked Fountain out of the first free throw. He missed it. Miller is going to get a break. Will uh, Justice Hill. Wilkinson. Hayes is in for LSU. Cam Hayes, 6'2", junior from Greensboro, North Carolina, averaging six a game. Fountain gets the second one, so he is on the board, and it's 16 to 9, LSU by seven. Into the front court, Kyron Gibson will get it to a Cash. Aaron Cash, double zero, 6'6", senior from San Francisco, starter, back into the lineup. Pedro Castro, 6'6", graduate in. Passes down on the baseline to Cash. He was in trouble, so he'll kick it back out on the left wing to Talbot. We're at the 12-minute mark, 10 to shoot. Talbot passes at the top, Gibson, shot fake. Gets into the lane, lost the ball, but I think they're going to call a foul on Coleman of LSU. Get the number. Now going to get 16 to 9 Tigers, 10.57. So that'll go down as a uh, shot clock violation for LSU. Humphrey, top of the key to Cash. Reed and uh, Hill will come back in for LSU at the next opportunity. Weaver out at long range to Humphrey. He's at the top of the key. He's going to go just to the left of the key. Now pass out to Weaver, right side on the baseline. Back up top, Gibson. Gibson right wing to the free throw line. Will dish it back out, left wing to Cash. There's four for him to shoot. A long fadeaway three is short, no good. Rebound, Adam Miller's got it for LSU. Wanted to run and then saw the numbers weren't great, so he'll pull it back and they try to throw it across and it is intercepted. Going to the bucket and Adam Miller came back to block the layup by Gibson, but the rebound slammed back by Shamar Wilson is good. I like that. I like Adam Miller's hustle back. He made the mistake, but he hustled back, blocked the shot, and his teammates didn't trail enough for him, and they got the offensive rebound and dunked it in our goal. 16-11 now, LSU by five, ten minutes into the second, into the first half. Coleman, the left wing, trying to hand it to, to uh, Miller. He's being denied. Lob pass is set down to K.J. Williams, uses his body, clears out space, and lays it in. Yeah, they can't guard K.J. down there one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to have to double team to stop him. If I was LSU, I'd throw it in there until he got tired. 18-11, LSU back up by seven. Top of the key look to Cash. He'll swing it left side over to Weaver. Back up to Humphrey between the circles. 13 to shoot. Humphrey goes left side of the lane, back it away. Up top now to Wilson. Wilson, left side to Humphrey, still on the perimeter. He'll go left elbow and fade away from 17. It rolled around, wouldn't go. Rebound is taken by K.J. Williams. That's two back-to-back -back good extended time of guarding for LSU without fouling. Oh, Hayes going in for a layup left side, and Mar Marion Humphrey was having none of that. He swatted it into the front row. LSU completed the defensive possessions the last two times with getting rebounds, limiting them to no offensive rebounds on those two times. LSU uh, 7 of 15 from the floor. UT Arlington only 5 of 16. They're down to 31%. Well, LSU's making them execute in the half court. That's something that's not their strength. As we talked about, they need easy baskets. Offensive rebounds, stick them back in, get to the free throw line, turn the opponent over. LSU hadn't allowed that. That's why they have 11 points with nine minutes to go in the first half. Several new players in the game. We'll get them to you. LSU's got the inbound to Reed. He's in with K.J. Williams. Justice Hill, Milani Wilkinson. Adam Miller. So the starting five for LSU. 13 on the shot clock, under nine minutes in the half. Hill left side of the lane. Kind of an awkward shot, but he is fouled. 
And we'll get a couple of free throws. Might have bailed him out a little bit there, but the foul was on 23. Dario Domingo, 6'8", sophomore from Angola. They're having a hard time guarding Williams in the post and really having a hard time, you know, guarding our players in the perimeter. Justice just went by the Arlington player, and I think dribble penetration for LSU is certainly an advantage for them. So Hill will get a couple of free throws. He has been over, but seven is still a high number. Well, if you're going to turn it over, turn it over out of bounds so you can set your defense. You don't want any turnovers or, or, or just a few turnovers. Talbot faked a long three. He'll go into the left corner now trying to back Miller down. I don't know if that's a good idea. Still trying. He'll finally pass it to Castro. 15-footer was an air ball. Rebound put back by Domingos. No good. Probably a foul. LSU will get it, though, and the ball tipped out of bounds. There was some banging going on down there. No First half. That was informed piece, important piece of information here. John Sheeby, his crew's got the night off. It's Lee Ciano is our guy and his crew. Well, let's do it right. We're doing it tonight. They're, ju he, they're just as good, though. <laughs> Maybe even a little better, but don't tell John that. <laughs> but giving you all the sounds and pictures from the Maravich Center, 19-11, to 11, LSU by 8, and Hill has it to our left. To Miller, back to Hill, top of the key, 13 to shoot. Deep left wing to Tyrell Ward, freshman from Washington, D.C., who checked in. He'll drive left side of the lane. Seven-footer banged hard off the glass, and the rebound's taken by Talbot. The matchup zone that Arlington has gone to has bothered LSU just a little bit. It's taking them off the three-point line and making them try to beat them off the dribble or throw the ball inside. Driving right baseline is Walker. He tops a couple of shot fakes and puts it up and in over Jalen Reed. Dribble penetration, half court. We got a guard, dribble penetration. Walker has go. four and into the lane, but missing the uh, runner from about four feet was Hill. The rebound's taken by Walker. So LSU up by six, 19 13, and have gone a little bit cold from the floor. In fact, they've gone a lot cold from the floor, just one for their last seven. Mm. And no LSU buckets in over three minutes. Left elbow jump shot up, it rolled the rim, no good by Humphrey. LSU rebound by Ward. Tyrell Ward averaging just a point a game. Trey Hannibal with a couple of fouls. He's out for LSU. Hill left side. He's going to do a running arcing one-hander. It's good. Left side of the lane. Hill just created that on his own. That was a tough shot. He, he did get the dribble penetration. He just threw it over the outstretched arm of the Arlington player. Caught the rim and fell in. 21-13 LSU by 8. 6.15 to go. First half. Humphrey, bounce pass at the top. Domingos, he'll go left wing where he will hand it to Castro. Castro pass uh, right wing right here in front of Coach McMahon to Talbot. Talbot shot fake around Miller, goes right side of the lane, seven footer, no good. Rebound put back, there they are on the offensive glass. Domingos, that is uh, their fourth second chance point of the night, 21-15. That's what they do, and that's what LSU has kept them away from is offensive rebounds. They'll get a couple, but as long as they don't get their 14 or 15 a game like they normally do. Reed double teamed in the lane, so he'll kick it out to K.J. Williams. He'll dribble right side of the lane, trying to back his man down. Turn, long one-handed hook shot, about a 12-footer, no good. Talbot the rebound. It might have been a little long for, for his shot with the hook. Going Baseline is Talbot. He'll kick it out. Left side now up to Walker at the top. 5.20 to go in the half. LSU by six. Defending. Talbot at the top. We'll go right elbow. He walked in the lane. Wasn't called. Five-footer off the glass and rim. No good. Williams, the LSU rebound. Sure looked like an extra step in there. Hill fakes his man and goes around and left-handed layup on the drive is no good. And the rebound to Brandon Walker. LSU down below 40% for the floor. So they've struggled recently scoring the ball. They were one of their last seven. I made one of their last eight or nine here the last 30 seconds. 4.48 to go in the half. 21-15. At the top, Castro will get it left side. Talbot for three. He got it. They don't do much from beyond the three, but Talbot put that one on. They only shoot 29%. Right. Talbot, though, his 11th of the season, that leads their team, and it's 21-18, and the fans getting a little restless here in the Maravich Center. Yeah, 29% shooting from the three is, is a low number, but he nailed that one off of a down screen. He came off the down screen and nailed it over the... He was defended. Adam Miller had a hand up. Eight to shoot, now seven. Reed at the top of the key. Tries to go around his man, going toward the hole. Off-balance shot, no good. K.J. Williams put back, no good. And a defensive rebound for Domingo. So LSU is just ice cold from in close from outside and uh, 
UT Arlington and Kintyre get within a point here. Hannibal is going to come back in for LSU with his two fouls at the next whistle, which will get us to immediate timeout. Humphrey dumps it in the lane. It was knocked out of there by K.J. Williams, but up top to Walker. Three ball to tie is no good off the iron. Long rebound out. It's going to be a foul on Brandon Walker, who bumped into... 5%. Arlington shooting 31. And we'll see if LSU can keep defending well the last three minutes of the half and go into the half with a little momentum. Right wing LSU ball. Coleman has it at the top. Spinning around inside the key. We'll hand it off to Fountain who came in. Fountain uh, up top to Hannibal. In with two fouls. Hannibal is between the circles now. Left wing to Fountain. Thought about it. Three shot fake. He'll dribble in toward the bucket. And he charges. Now he probably could have pulled up and taken about a 13, 14 footer. But he dribbled right into the defense and was called for the charge. It was a nice move he made. He made the shot fake. Got by the defender. And opposed to going straight up and straight down, he just went forward. You know, if he had jumped off two feet and gone straight up, as you said, he could have shot the eight, nine, ten footer. And uh, Coach Matt McMahon right here in front of us demonstrating to Pat Adams what he thinks happened. Yeah. But it did on the replay kind of look like defender went straight up and Fountain kind of initiated the contact, if you will. So LSU another turnover there, eight. Weaver. Uh, trapped in the corner, but he will bounce pass on the left baseline. Shot fake cash. Spins, turns, tough shot. 14-footer, no good over Fountain. And LSU rebound to Coleman. Hannibal goes right baseline, cutoff. Out to Miller on the right wing. Miller gets it into the lane, forces it up. It won't go, but he is fouled by how many fingers? 22. That would be Shamar Wilson. Yeah, Adam did a nice job getting the defender back a little bit and got the defender on his hip. And I've, I've always said anytime that defender gets on his hip, the offensive player has the advantage, and it certainly was demonstrated right there. LSU is out rebounding them 23 to 13. Just four second chance points for UT Arlington, which is something they thrive off of. So LSU, as coach said, is doing a good job of limiting that. Miller will get two free throws. Well, they've got 18 points with 245 to go. It's not our, uh, our defense, really, that has the problem right now. It's our offensive execution in the half court. And I don't think we're getting enough transition baskets against this team. We need to get it up early in the game when we got a six, seven point lead. We got two or three baskets in transition. We haven't done that in the last eight or 10. Miller hits. He's got six. He's got another one. And LSU up 22 to 18. And make it 23 to 18. Miller two for two. LSU led by as many as seven on a couple of occasions. And we haven't had a field goal in the last three minutes and 43 seconds. Actually, LSU's biggest lead was eight at one point. Right. Six footer left side of the lane by Walker, no good. And an LSU rebound. It was no. taken out by Fountain to Hannibal. He will yes. lob it up for Coleman, who slams it home. I like it on the turnover, run it up the floor and get something. We can beat these guys down the floor. 25-18, 2.15 to go first half. Way up top to Gibson. We'll get it left side to Humphrey Whistle and play a stop under the bucket. A Some, headband came Yeah, on. somebody lost a headband. That's why you don't let them wear them. Then you don't have to have that problem. That's, that's spoken by <laughs> spoken by somebody who doesn't have a lot of hair. Need a headband. Hey, is what that hey, sounds like. Hey, at what time? <laughs> I've seen the pictures. You had a, you had a full head of it. You never wore a headband though. No, and I, I had a. I was kind of old fashioned. I, I didn't like players wearing headbands either. Well, one just popped off in the middle of the lane. They had to stop play for it. So right. you're probably right then. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> We're approaching two minutes, 25 to 18. Gibson, right wing, looking to enter but can't. Some good defense by Fountain down there. Gibson's going to drive in the lane, up over Hill. No good. Good defense by Hill. Yes. Missed four-footer. Fountain the rebound. Hill to the front court, LSU by seven. Down the lane, Hill stops, turns, pivots on the left block, kicks it out to Miller on the left baseline. Miller is in a fight with the, for the ball. He's on the floor. Did he walk or did it was a timeout call? What do we got? Now, what do we have? 142 to go in the half, 25 to 18 LSU. Well, LSU's doing well, out rebounding this team by 12, only giving up four offensive rebounds, shooting 28%. 
Miller an air ball three off the inbound, but the rebound put back is up and in by Coleman. Well, that's where the ball comes. Well, most times when you shoot the ball, it comes off the weak side. That's what happened there. We're able to get the weak side rebound and stick it back for two. That's our first field goal in about three minutes. 6-0 run for LSU. They now have a nine-point lead, their biggest. Walker, left side of the lane, has it knocked away. You can probably hear uh, who was that. That was Fountain go to the floor. It's out of bounds. He was diving in the baseline trying to save it. Good for LSU. To, we wanted with about three minutes left. We talked about finishing the half with some momentum, and it looks like that may carry over. The last minute, 16, could be real positive for LSU. They've held uh, the Mavericks scoreless for uh, about three and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. And again, they're having to mop up the perspiration. It is a muggy December evening in Baton Rouge and inside the Maravich Center. And with 1.16 to go, 14 on the shot clock, we're ready for play. Weaver looking several places. We'll finally throw it way out. Gibson came up with it. He goes into the lane, stopped and traveled. Oh, he, or they called a foul. I thought it traveled first. I think you're right about that. But the Fountain did foul him on the bump. He just slid to the side, hit him in the act of shooting. He's going to shoot two. And let's look at the replay. Yeah, Fountain did move into him. I thought he walked first, though. He, oh, he did first. They didn't yeah. show the beginning of it, and I thought he traveled, moved his pivot foot. I thought a couple of times tonight the Arlington players have moved their pivot foot, and LSU hasn't got the correct call with the travel. And again, they are wiping up all kinds of moisture from the floor. Told you uh, a little early, right at the beginning, there are some air conditioning issues on campus at large, not just in the Maravich Center. Not a good day for it. It was mugging about 79 degrees. So we've had a few extra delays to uh, get moisture off the floor. And uh, when all of that is said and done, it will be free throws for Kyron Gibson. Yeah, I, I'm, Coach McMahon, I'm sure, 18 points with a minute to go in the first half. I'm sure he's pleased with that. But I think on the other end, uh, where LSU shooting 38%, uh, from the floor. I know he wants to improve on that the second half. So Gibson, I think, is going to get two. They're going to rule he was in the act of shooting. Well, we've out-rebounded this team 26 to 13 with a minute left in the first half, which is excellent. Gibson rattles the free throw in. He is one of three at the line. K.J. Williams will come in. Fountain's going to get a breather. He, he plays hard. One point uh, on a free throw, three rebounds. Did pick up a couple of fouls, and Gibson will get one more. You know, I think LSU's at its best against a team like this when they push the ball up the floor, like off of this free throw here or turnover, and try to go inside early or drive the ball to the win. Gibson missed. Coleman rebounded. Hannibal top of the key for LSU. We're at the one-minute mark. LSU by eight. Bounce pass into a lot of traffic, but it's caught down low. Coleman, one-hander from five feet, no good. And rebound batted around. Cash has it for the Mavericks. And here they come. Down by eight, and uh, they want a timeout. Greg Young, second-year head coach, but he's been on their staff as an assistant. Those are three good scores. The other guys are complimentary. But with this particular team, I don't know what they would go to here with eight guys yeah. averaging around eight points. Well, they've played nine guys tonight. Nobody's taken more than five shots. Right. 18 on the shot clock, 40 on the game clock. LSU by eight, 27 to 19. Gibson deep left side to Talbot. Talbot back right wing to Gibson, fakes a pass, takes a three, and hits it right wing. So that will get them a little closer. LSU can play for one, but it's 27 to 22. Gibson hits his seventh of the year. Okay, now we're going to run a specific play for get the ball inside or, or get Adam on a jump shot or have, have Hill drive it to the rim and get fouled. Now they're flat right now, four on the baseline. Now Williams pops up the set of screen. Hill goes around it. Alley oop. A tip in is good nice. by Coleman. Stop the ball here, guys. Two seconds, one second. Off balance three by Gibson is off the back iron. No good. And LSU will take a seven-point lead into the locker room. Colt New Orleans Sunday, LSU and Tulane women's basketball, 4 o'clock for that start. Hope you can join us for that one as well. UT Arlington ball to our left. 
They are down by seven. We'll see what the second half looks like. Gibson will take a three just left of the top of the key. A short, long rebound, though, kicks out. Weaver's got it. Boy, those long, arcing threes that kick way out are just so hard to rebound That's sometimes. That's what Coach McMahon said he needs the guards to rebound down. Long shots make for long rebounds. Cash will take a three right wing. No rebound there. It's good. And uh, they come out firing. They get second chance points there, and they've cut it to four, 29 to 25. Well, offensive rebounds is the key to their existence, and they got one there, and it led to a three-point basket, which they don't normally make. Reed pass down low to Miller. He finds uh, K.J. Williams left side of the lane. Pivots, turns four-footer good by K.J. Williams. That was a good first offensive possession for the Tigers. Well, I like, I like going to him. We talked about it earlier. They, they, they need to keep going to him and not get away from it. LSU back up by six. Top of the key, Cash over on the right sideline to Weaver. Bounce pass in the right corner. Back to Cash. Right wing pass to Gibson. Now to the top to Wilson. Trying to hand off, but Miller was going to intercept it, so he held on to it. Now we'll hand it to Humphrey for to shoot. Humphrey left wing, inside the lane, toward the hole, and he laid it up and in. He took uh, Mwani Wilkinson to the bucket and laid it in on him. Well, Mwani saw the screen turn, and he turned his head to the screen, and the offensive player saw that and went the opposite way of his head turn. Humphrey's got six. Hill under the basket. Comes out on the left side. Kicks it out to K.J. Williams for three, and he got it on the left. Wing. Big baskets by KJ to start LSU the second half on a good offensive swing. LSU by seven. KJ's got 11. LSU's leading score in the game. That was his ninth three of the year. 36% coming in. Bounce pass down on the left baseline. Cash got his back to the bucket, trying to back in on Reed. He'll kick it out up top to Wilson. Hands off top of the key to Humphrey. Humphrey inside the key. Down the lane. Turns. Fires. Six-footer. Tough shot. No good. But he got the rebound back. Hill was defending well, but couldn't block him out. Driving lane. Running one-hander Gibson up off the glass. And in. they get second-chance points again for the second time of the half. And again, uh, time is called. they got to wipe the floor. They got Mwani on his hip again. That's the second time in four trips down the floor they've driven Mwani to the basket. But you're right, Patrick. The second time they've got an offensive rebound this half has turned into points. One three and then one two there. That's five points. Well, it's a tough break, though. I thought Justice Hill was playing good defense. But unfortunately, his good defense in contesting the shot, he couldn't get in position to get the rebound and right. block the shooter out. Yeah, and the bounce was perfect. You know, and sometimes that happens. Well, as they continue to wipe up the floor, uh, change gears a little bit. A couple of high school football games in town. Big ones on our Caesar Sportsbook scoreboard update. Dunham School leads U High 21 to 14. They're late in the in the first half, and Catholic leads John Curtis 14 to three. They're late in the first half. 34-29, LSU by five here, Hill. Right side, Williams for three more. Back iron that time. And the rebound to Wilson of the Mavericks. And long shots, long shots, long rebounds. The guard got that rebound for Arlington. Cash fade away three, left wing no good. Read the LSU rebound. And he's going to dribble it hard into the front court. Top of the key, down the lane, toward the hole. Layup is blocked again by Humphrey. He's got a couple of those. Taken on the rebound by Gibson. Up ahead for a jam by Weaver, who posed a little bit after that. Yeah, Weaver's an athletic guy. We talked about commenting on that the first half. That was an athletic move by him. And on the block shot turnover, Arlington took advantage of it and, and ran it up the floor. Got Three, in transition. Yeah, three-point game now, 34-31, 16-49 to go in the second half. Reed at the top. He's inside the key looking to hand off somewhere. They're denying the handoff, and he finally gets it to Wilkinson. Out at long range between the circles. Hill will tend to shoot. Hill approaches the arc. He lost it. Knocked away and it's stolen. Kind of lost the ball on his own, and Gibson came out of there with it. Leaves it for a jam by double zero cash, and LSU needs a timeout. Of eight, UT Arlington in the second half from the floor, LSU two for four. And they are still wiping the floor during the break. Now LSU will try to inbound against a little bit of pressure. Derek Fountain back in for LSU. He got it into Miller. Hannibal now has it to Weaver, and uh, they will back off. Although uh, Humphrey was pressuring Cam Hayes a little bit. So Hayes is in, Hill is out. Hayes is going to drive in the lane, running one-hander off one leg is good. Ten-footer around the SEC logo. 
Hayes first bucket, a big one. It uh, breaks the 6-0 run, 36-33 LSU. You did the right thing. They're in the matchup zone, and you drive a matchup zone and truly a man-to-man guard in the area. Cam did the right thing, drove it, and laid it up. Faking a three left side. Cash dribbles in 14-footer. Got a lot of iron, but did not get the net. Fountain the rebound. Into the front court, Hayes at the top. LSU by three. Pass in the lane. One-handed shot, no good by Hayes. But he will get two free throws as he was fouled. The foul After what will hopefully be a good successful week of exam taking. Three throws in. Now Hayes has three. College was fun except for that one week of exams at the end. I was never, never a big fan of those. I, I, I can't remember that for about <laughs> I, I'm getting there. Trust me. 38-33. Hayes has scored four in a row for LSU. Lead had been cut to one. It's now back up to five. Weaver will get a deep right wing. Gibson was thinking three. Decides not to. Inside the arc. Will now back it behind the arc again. Pass the top. Tipped away. But Cash will chase it down. Ten to shoot. Up top. Almost stole. In fact, it is taken. Good hustle by K.J. Williams. To Fountain into the front court. Didn't have numbers. He'll hit the trailing Miller right wing. Can't shoot. Back right corner to Fountain. Uh, UT Arlington, a good job to get back in transition. And LSU will have to restart. Hannibal at the point. Near the half-court circle. Under 15 minutes in the game. 12 on the shot clock and a whistle. And somebody being a little too aggressive. Uh, Weaver, the freshman for UT Arlington. Pat Adams is very descriptive, saying what he was doing. He was holding. Yes. And a lot of it. Yeah, Pat, Pat got that early. And uh, Wilson will check out. Talbot will check in. Humphrey with six and Gibson with six lead uh, the Mavericks. That's about what we're used to. They uh, have nobody who averages uh, above nine points. So they spread it out. But they're not getting much tonight. LSU's defended pretty well for the most part. Hayes with 12. We'll approach the top of the key. He's inside the arc. Right side of the lane. Elbow jumper. Good. Cam Hayes has been a good shot in the arm for LSU here since uh, UT Arlington and cut it to one. He has scored six in a row. The mid-range guy. They set the ball screen. Big switch. He drove the big. Backed him up. Pulled up and shot the 12-footer. Weaver left side. Bounced it. It was knocked away. Then Weaver got it back. Took it to the hole and missed. But he was fouled. Tough break there. Was, somebody got their hand in and knocked it away. And it went right back to Weaver, who then took it home uh, for two free throws at least. Almost a three-point play. It's good to see LSU lose the momentum and now get some of that momentum back in the last three minutes of play, going from a one-point lead to a seven-point lead over the last three minutes. As half started, K.J. Williams got a bucket and then got a three-pointer. But then UT Arlington went on their run. Free throw is good by Weaver. He's got three points. But then it's been all Cam Hayes, the 6'2 junior from Greensboro, North Carolina, averaging six a game. He's got those six in the last three minutes. Weaver's second one is in. No, he's got four. And they'll shuttle people in and out again. Will uh, the Mavs? Domingos is back in. And they're going to full court press a little bit, or at least show it. Miller gets it to Hayes, who will lob it toward the front court. Hannibal now into the front court. And he will hand it back to Hayes. And so they've shown pressure. They haven't been real aggressive with it. Just take time off the clock so they don't have a lot of time in the half court to run something. Right baseline, Hannibal drives. Reverse layup from the left side yeah. is no good. But he was fouled. We'll see if it was on the shot or on the rebound. It was on the shot. And will be two free throws for Hannibal. So good aggressive drive down the baseline. Yeah, and he up and under used the rim as a defender itself and got bumped by 23, and they, they blew it on him. We're at the free throw line with two. Hannibal 70% for the year, looking for his first point of the night. Domingos, his second foul of the night. Hannibal's free throw is good. And the lead is back to six, 41 to 35. Weaver back in quickly. And LSU has uh, hit three of three from the line in the half. And got that one, four for four. 42-35, LSU back by seven. Into the front court is Humphrey to our left. 
Humphrey working on Hayes, a little, uh, little too handsy, as the guy you normally work with would say. Mm. And uh, that little handsy was Cam Hayes at the 1357 mark. Foul called. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. That was. You don't think he was being too handsy? No, I don't think he's being too handsy. I think sometimes that's incidental and it's no advantage game, so just kind of let it play. You can't play a game without some type of contact. Yes, the game was originally designed that way, but that was like 150 years ago, and it's just not practical these days. Well, these guys out here today are a little more athletic than those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Five footer, no good in the lane by Walker, and pretty good defense forced a tough shot, and then a foul on UT Arlington. Offensive foul to get the rebound. And looked like they got that one on Walker, who missed the original shot. <laughs> Pat Adams, he did that right in front of the coach and called that foul. Pat Adams was complaining about it, and Pat was adamant in the call he made <laughs> and wanted the opposing coach to know it. Well, and Greg Young uh, now knows <laughs> if he didn't previous. 42 to 35 LSU, that foul was on Walker, and that was his third. He and Wilson have three apiece. Bounce pass down low under the bucket, not in position, was handled. That ball was stolen by Cash. Into the front court, Gibson will get it left corner to Castro, who will kick it back up top. Gibson, top of the key, off balance three, no good. Got a lot of iron, but it popped out. And the LSU board to Hannibal. Hannibal is going to drive left side in the lane, crosses over right side, dishes underneath the fountain, makes a little room and puts it up and in. So I like advancing the ball quickly, getting something at the rim. It creates an opportunity for Fountain. 44-35, UT Arlington player is injured. <laughs> well, that wasn't as bad as it appeared at that moment. But well, like LSU pushing the ball on a, on a missed shot, uh, on a turnover, even, even on a made basket, just push it up there and see what you can get. Because I think we can beat these guys off the dribble, which will create some opportunities for a pass off, a dish off, or whatever the case may be. Nine-point lead, 44-35, under 13 minutes to go. Right baseline is Walker, who will kick it out to Talbot for three. Back iron, no good. Ball batted a few times way up in the air. Domingos has it. Pass in the lane to Walker. Turns, five-footer, good, and they get second-chance points. Again, they're seventh of the half, and it's 44 to 37. The yeah, offensive rebounds again. You know, that's the third one they've had this half. They, they've translated into baskets. The first half, they weren't able to do that. Hayes will get it deep left side to found. They give him a lot of room. He'll pass it instead up to Hannibal. Hannibal to the free throw line. Can't shoot. Gets it right wing to Hayes, who will shoot a three off the back iron. No good. Rebound by Domingos. Big guy at six foot eight. As we approach 12 minutes, next whistle, we'll get a timeout. To the bucket, easy layup on a good move by Humphrey. Faked out a couple of Tigers. The other end, get to the foul line or get something easy and separate this score, I think it would be hard for Arlington to turn a 10 or 12 point deficit into any kind of action to win this game. A little bit of pressure, but into the front court, LSU will get it. Hannibal will bring it in. Justice Hill did check back in at that break. Hannibal will go inside the arc to the right elbow. And Hannibal will back it out. 11:40 and counting. 44-39 LSU at long range to Cam Hayes. Cam Hayes will get it right wing. Hannibal. He catches, tried to drive, then kicks it into the corner to Hill. Hill into the lane. Will kick it back out for a long three by Hayes. It's off the back iron. No good. And I think an LSU rebounding foul, probably on Kendall Coleman. And it is. A little bit of good news, though. Jason McBain, the UT Arlington uh, Sports Information Director, told us during the break that uh, Kyron Gibson a while ago just having leg cramps. So he is going to be okay. Uh, and that is not hard to believe, as warm and humid as it is in this building. They're, again, cleaning perspiration up off the floor. So leg cramps and the uh, warmth and humidity, uh, he should be just fine. And that is a good thing. Yes, you know, LSU was shooting 39% from the three coming in tonight. They're only four of 13 tonight and have had, sat, had some good looks yeah. at the rim. And we have not seen Adam Miller in a little while. He is on the bench for LSU. He has got seven points. K.J. Williams, 11 points, also not out there right now. 44-39 LSU by five, but defending. Talbot, right side. Bounce pass, leaves it at the top of the key for Weaver. Lobbed it down low, had a man, Domingos, but he threw it over his head. That is only their fifth turnover as the ball went out of bounds. LSU trying to rush into the front court. Not a bad idea. 
UT Arlington in his back, top of the key three by Justice Hill. Back iron, no good. And Talbot's got the rebound. LSU now 4 of 14 from the arc and have a five-point lead. Talbot right side of the lane, fires it left side Castro into the left corner to Walker. He'll drive to the left low block, try to flip it up, no good. Fountain got in his way, but the offensive rebound put back, it wouldn't go by Let Domingo. Tip in. And then it was tipped in. By number two. Walker got it, so give them second chance points again. Hannibal in a lot of trouble under the bucket. It's ripped away and stolen. Walker got it. Up ahead to Weaver. Drives in, misses the layup. Hill or uh, Coleman, one or the other, kind of made him change his shot. It's 44-41, LSU by three with the ball. Yeah. Miller and K.J. Williams will come back in. Yeah, break for the Tigers there on a layup. He, uh, Cam did hustle back, but certainly he's just missed the open layup. Three from the top. Fountain, he banked it in. Now, sometimes you got to take it the unorthodox way to maybe loosen that three ball up a little bit. Fountain banks it home, 47-41. Thought Hill had the layup, and he kicked it out to Fountain. And he, he did use the backboard. Break for the Tigers there. They needed that basket. Drive into the bucket. Layup maybe deflected from behind. Talbot missed it. Hill on the run. He's in a hurry. He's down the lane. Fakes left. Looks right. Pass underneath. Fountain missed the layup as he went to the ground. Maybe a little off balance. Castro the other way. Into the right corner. Talbot for three. Air ball put back easy up and in by Domingos. Now that's those tough ones. Those air balls can be sold. Because the shooting percentage, the field goal percentage, has gone up really for both teams. LSU 50% in the half. 47-43. Right wing K.J. Williams has it, and then Weaver is fouling Adam Miller away from the ball. You could kind of see that call coming. Well, the defender has to give the offensive cutter an opportunity to cut, and they were impeding his progress, and that's why they called the foul. But they're doing that. They, they, Arlington is having a concerted effort to make it tough, difficult for Adam Miller to get open shots and even catch the ball in the half court. So Miller will get it in at long range to Justice Hill. 18 on the shot clock. Hill gets a screen from Williams at the top. Will ease his way to the right wing. Pass right corner to Miller. Dumps it down quickly. K.J. Williams, four-footer, side of the rim, no good. Rebound batted around a few times. Finally, Coleman comes up with it. Then on a shot fake and then a shot. He was fouled by number four on the other team, Gibson. And Coleman should get a couple of free throws out of this. That was a huge offensive rebound for LSU. You know, Williams, you can't get a better shot than that. He He's made much more difficult shots tonight than he missed right there. Almost wide open under the goal. So Coleman will get a couple. And LSU's lead is 4, 47 to 43. Capital One is offering checking and savings accounts with no fees or minimums. What's in your wallet? Free throws will be important for LSU down the stretch, really for both teams, because both teams are struggling somewhat in the half court. They've gotten good baskets off of transition and off of turnovers, but in the half court, both teams have, have struggled a little bit to score, so the free throw line to get an easy basket will be important for both teams at the end here. Coleman, three of four on the year at the line, hits that one, LSU five of five and a half. And nine of 11 in the game, and the lead is now five. Coleman with uh, seven points, had six toward the end of the first half. And a nice spin, but he left that one short. And the rebound taken by Humphrey. LSU, the edge on the board has been uh, lessened. It was plus 10 at the half. It is only plus three right now. So UT Arlington rebounding a little better. And uh, only down five with the ball under nine minutes to go. Gibson has it knocked away. He'll chase it down toward half court and will make his way toward the top of the key. He'll go into the lane, kick it out to Walker. Doesn't shoot a three, dribbles inside the key, and then a fadeaway 18-footer. Oh, wow. Good at the buzzer. Oh, you hate those. If you're LSU, you play defense pretty good. Walker hits a fadeaway. He's got 10, and it's 48-45. to 45. LSU by three. They have never trailed. Miller off a screen, three ball, not close. And it's taken by Kendall Weaver of UT Arlington. Humphrey has an alley down the lane and he jams it. The C parted and Humphrey took advantage. One point game. Well, we didn't get a step out on the ball screen. He turned the corner and nobody came to help. 
the defender got screened and the, the, the whoever was guarding the screener didn't show big to make the offensive player do something else. Good play there. And an oh. LSU foul away from the ball. They were going to get it to Cam Hayes for a wide open three, but somebody, LSU 25-19, they trail by one, do the UT Arlington Mavericks, and they have the ball to our left. Humphrey gets a screen, will go right point, picks up his dribble inside the arc. Leaves it up top for Castro. Guarded closely by Miller. Castro dribbles. Had it knocked away by Hannibal up top, but Castro got it back. Ten to shoot. Right wing Humphrey working on Miller. He spins. He gets it into the right corner. Cash for three and the lead, and it's good. Cash has eight all in the second half, and they have their first lead. Cash, his 11th of the year. Pass into the front court. Tipped out of bounds by Humphrey. 50-48. UT Arlington leads. They have made four shots in a row. A 7-0 run, and LSU does not have a basket in the last three minutes. Well, Arlington makes six threes a game. They shoot 29% from the three. Well, they've only got four tonight, but they've all come at timely. It timely. Seemingly, yeah, yeah, big time. Timely shots. Hill will lob it down on the low block. Looking for KJ Williams turns. One hander, left it short again. Rebound. Batted and taken by Wilson. So that was the turnaround one-hander by Williams. He left it off the side of the rim. Humphrey has has it swiped at, but he got it back. Enters it down low to Wilson. Wilson will have to kick it out at long range to Humphrey. Humphrey, right wing, will go toward the lane. Stop, 14-footer. Good. Boy, they have now caught fire. Humphrey's got 12, and it's 52-48, to 48, a 9-0 run. They drove it in the paint and just rose up over Hannibal and shot it right over him. 6.37 to go in the game, and LSU is almost in a similar spot they were against Wofford. It was a little later the other day. About four minutes they were down. Fountain top of the key, right side to Hill. Hill at the top now with eight to shoot. Hill is going to try to drive left side. Pass into the corner to, uh, to Hannibal. Reverse layup hit the underside of the rim and is taken by Cash. And the LSU offense has gone into the deep freeze. Really and we have another player, Gibson, actually the free throw line. Just get some stops here and get ourselves back where we have a position to win the game. So UT Arlington will inbound ahead by four, 6-10 to go. LSU had a little bit of full court pressure, but they back off. Humphrey into the front court. UT Arlington now up to 40% for the game. LSU down to 39%. Humphrey lobs it down low. It's tipped. It went off the glass and into the hands of Hannibal. LSU trying to run. Hannibal to the right side of the lane will hit the trailing. K.J. Williams for three, and he got it from the top. Big basket. That's the guy that needs to score it for LSU. He's done it previously. He and Adam Miller are the two guys that need to score and hit some big baskets in spite of how... Adam Miller's being guarded tonight. He's got 14. LSU down one. 5:34 to go. Miller was trail. Uh, Williams was trailing on the break. Down the lane, off balance layup. I don't know how he missed it, but Castro did. Rebound. KJ Williams up to Hannibal. Down the lane to the bucket. Handoff. Fountain in traffic. He lost the ball. It popped way up in the air. I think it slipped out of his hand. The slick. Uh, moisture that we've got in here in uh, UT Arlington the other way. I think LSU tried a little too hard on that one, though, to get it down low. And then we got a foul on Cam Hayes. That's only LSU's fifth. No free throws at the 5.07 mark. Cam. Cam. The Weaver will come back in. LSU's got Hayes, Hannibal, K.J. Williams, Adam Miller, and uh, Derek Fountain. So Justice Hill not in at the moment. LSU down a point, defending at the five-minute mark. Uh, Arlington will go to the line on the next LSU foul, I believe. No, that's five. Just five that's on five. LSU. Yep, so okay. they got one more to give. Five on the shot clock. Talbot, deep right wing at two with one. They're not going to get off a shot. Yeah. Humphrey, as it hit zero, threw one up from about 30 feet. So I don't think they got a little discombobulated. And LSU will take what is only their eighth turnover. Well, no doubt about it, we need good defensive stops. That was a prime example of what LSU needed at the right time. 
good defense without filing shot clock violation. Now go down on the other end and maybe see go back to Williams. I, I, you know, he's got some confidence now. He hit the big three. Maybe get him off the post and let him score down in the paint. He's got 14. Miller with seven. Coleman with seven. Hayes with six. Justice Hill only three in the game. LSU ball down a point, 440 to go. They're working the perimeter right side to Hannibal. Dumps it down low to Williams. He's double teamed. He dribbles. Kicks it nice. to Hannibal in the lane. Ducks under. Lays it up. No good. But he is fouled and will get two. Tough break that he couldn't finish that. He had to kind of change his shot a little bit. But Hannibal will shoot to tie and give LSU the lead. Well, when they double team Williams, he had the presence of mind to hit the cutter. Hannibal as he was going to the goal. It was good decision by Williams to give up possibly a shot for a better shot. LSU's at the free throw line with two fouls, 430 to go. Hannibal, two of two at the line, is only two points of the game. LSU, 9 of 12 at the line, 52-51, UT Arlington. But Hannibal can change that with 430 to go. Takes his time, fires it up, did not get it. So the best we can do here is a tie. Wilson will come in, number 22, Shamar Wilson. Cash will also come in. Domingos and Walker will check out. So they've got starters back in. So Hannibal will shoot to tie with 4.30 to go. And he got it. 52-52, so it has become a four-and-a-half-minute game. Cam Hayes in the backcourt pressuring Humphrey. Humphrey will get it into the front court. Humphrey looking around between the circles. Will go right. Actually, he'll now stay top of the key. Tried to get between defenders. He does. Bounce it underneath. And an easy layup is good. Shamar Wilson. I have no idea how he got through all that traffic with the ball intact. But the bounce pass by Humphrey and the layup good. And LSU's behind two again. The dribble penetration. The help came and nobody rotated down. He saw him out of the corner of his eye. Bounce pass for the layup. Hannibal left wing. We're under four minutes. He's into the lane now. Six-footer. Nice. Good by Hannibal in the lane. Five for Hannibal. We're tied again at 54. Next whistle, we get our final media timeout. Nice decision by Hannibal off two feet in the paint. Big basket. That, he was uh, now just one for two in the game. Humphrey to the right wing. Pass up top. Wilson thought about a three. Puts it on the floor. He, oh, I thought he drug the pivot foot, but they didn't call it. Seven to shoot. Talbot. Talbot into the lane. He's Whoa. in trouble. He left it off for nobody. Miller's got the steal. Miller way up ahead to Hayes. Left corner. Hits the trailing. Hannibal in lane. Stop. Shot fake. Five footer. No back iron. Fountain had the rebound, knocked out of bounds off of uh, UTA player. Time out in KJ Williams, Hayes, and uh, Hannibal. And it will be Hayes for LSU to inbound. He gets it to Hannibal, back to Hayes, right corner. Top of the key now, KJ Williams, leaves it left point for Fountain. 14 to shoot. We're at the three minute mark. Around the outside is Hayes, top of the key, eight to shoot. Hayes will make a move to the right elbow, gets it to Hannibal, splits the fenders toward the bucket, missed a left-handed jam, but he was fouled and will get two. He split two defenders who neither one could quite close on him. Almost got a big jam, but he'll get two throws. Well, I was right behind him. Hannibal saw what I saw. He saw that avenue open up to the rim, and he went straight to the goal and tried to dunk it. I wish maybe he'd have gone off two feet, and as opposed to trying to dunk it, just try to make the layup, but he's at the line for two big free throws 254 to go cash with the foul his first walker for them has four fouls lsu hannibal's got three nobody else with more than that so walker who's got 10 of their points is in foul trouble he is not on the floor right now so hannibal at the 254 mark will shoot for the lead he's three or four at the line has five points all in the second half Quiet crowd, free throw in, LSU back on top. You know, I think a while back we did talk about how important both teams making free throws down the stretch would be in this possession conscious game that's low scoring. I've got a big shot here. 55-54 LSU now. They have regained the lead that they held for most of the game. Free throw good, then they lost it for a while. Now they got it back and hope to keep it. Big stop here. Good deep, no, no foul. 
LSU has committed five. They got one to give. They would prefer just to go ahead and defend. UT Arlington over the limit. Top of the key, Talbot. will swing it left side to Humphrey. Humphrey back out long range to Cash. Dribbles right wing, handoff to Talbot. In the right corner, a catch and shoot three. Weaver, somebody got a piece of it into the hands of K.J. Williams. I think it was Fountain who got that. And LSU will slow it down. thought Hannibal got a piece of it. It was Hannibal, you are correct. Over way down on the corner. Hannibal blocked the three. Williams, the LSU rebound. 2.15 to go, LSU by two. Hannibal hands it off to Hayes. Hayes in the lane. Five-footer off the glass, a little bit too hard, no good. Put back, K.J. Williams couldn't get it over the rim, but it's tipped in by Fountain. Yeah. Four-point lead at the two-minute mark. Fountain has eight. Two big offensive rebounds back-to-back -back for LSU off of the dribble penetration by Cam. They turn the tables on UT Arlington on the offensive boards. Humphrey is fouled by Hayes up top. Again, that's only six. So, fortunately, they got that out of the way, and it doesn't hurt them. But <laughs> as far as giving a free throw, yeah. Right. That was unnecessary for him to foul like that. He kids it went under that screen because it's about 28 feet from the goal. The 149 to go, 58-54 LSU. They have scored the last six in the game. Inbounds into the backcourt. Humphrey will now bring it into the front court. A minute 45 to go. 14 to shoot. Humphrey will go right side. Will be forced out to the right wing. Nine to shoot. Now he's going to get up ahead of steam, get cut off. Pass into the right corner to Cash. Cash, jump stop to the free throw line. Free throw line jumper, no good. Rebound taken by LSU's Hannibal. Good defense. That was a tough shot to hit the front rim, and Hannibal grabbed it. Yeah. Coach McMahon's getting the shot they want. Getting in the right purple people's hands here. 17 seconds on the shot clock. 114 in the game. Four-point LSU lead at the top fountain. He will hand it off to Hannibal. Hannibal free throw line. Eight to shoot. Oh. Passed it. Miller. Three ball. Left wing. It's oh. good. He hasn't gotten many shots in the game, but he found that one. Left wing three puts LSU up by seven with a minute one to go. And a foul on Fountain, unfortunately, on the inbound. The basket is still good. The foul happened in the aftermath after the bucket. Here it is right there. Well, they didn't show it. They missed it. I'd like to have seen what the foul actually was, but a huge basket. Huge basket by Adam Miller. He's got 10 now. LSU has scored the last nine, and it is a little similar now to Sunday. Yeah. LSU got down and went on a roll where they have kept, where they got the defense rolling 13 to 2 over the last 450 to go from down four to up seven. Humphrey to shoot one and one. It's in the air. He did not get it, and Fountain has the rebound. Up seven or under a minute. The Arlington's got a foul here. Yep. There and they go. will. Castro will foul Hannibal. The last points for UT Arlington came a little while ago. At the 412 mark, Wilson hit a layup to make it 54-52. LSU has scored the next nine to go up 61-54, up seven, and Hannibal will be shooting one and one. Final one and one here. For LSU, next ones will be two shots because we're at nine fouls right now. So Hannibal sets, he fires, and he didn't get it. And the rebound's taken by Shamar Wilson. So life for Arlington. Down seven, 50 seconds and counting. Humphrey not in a big hurry. Behind his back dribble. Thought about a three. He will kick it back out for a three at the top. That is no good. It hit the glass by Walker. Rebound to Hayes of LSU. And a foul, and this will be two free throws now. Free throw line. They're only two for three from the free throw line this half. They need easy baskets. They couldn't get them off second chance. They had been in the free throw line. And Hayes misses. He'll get another. And LSU has taken better care of the ball here the last three or four minutes than it did earlier in the half. Oh, up seven. Need a free throw. That one will make it eight as it's good. So Hayes with uh, seven points. And it is an eight-point lead with 39 seconds to go. It's good D here. I'd, 
LSU probably will switch everything, just keep the ball in front and make them shoot the ball over you without fouling. Then you'll be in great position to block the board and rebound the ball. 38 seconds to go, headed to the front court. It's Humphrey, he's into the front court. He's at the top of the key. He's going to try to go down the lane, a little Euro step. will kick it out for a three, and it's off the back iron by Talbot. Rebound will kick into the corner, and it's out of bounds off of Cam Hayes. Yeah, he ran off seconds on the clock without fouling. Good possession by LSU, even though they didn't come up with the ball. And uh, coming back in, Shamar Wilson. 62-54 LSU. Tigers have scored 10 in a row. UT Arlington has missed four in a row and have not scored in almost four minutes. Inbound Castro will get it into Humphrey. They need points quickly. They're down 8, 23 seconds to go. Humphrey for three. He banked it in. It's a five-point game timeout, UT Arlington. Well, and made the big baskets in the last four or five minutes. 21 seconds to go up five. If you take care of the ball and hit free throws, you win, but you have to do those things. Inbounds will come to Miller. He's going to be fouled. I'm pretty sure they probably ran a play to get it to your best free throw shooter, who is Miller. And uh, he is 86% at the line. He'll get two to try to make it back to a seven-point game with 19 seconds to go. Yeah, but what they did on the inbounds was clear out one side and then sprint Miller to the ball. The inbounder ran, ran the baseline and got it to Adam. And, and I agree with you. It's a good play by Coach McMahon, and you have your best free throw shooter at the free throw line. Well, Miller, who hit a big three a little while ago, see if he can get two at the line. First one, mm -hmm. no good. Leaving the door open a little bit here. Lead is five. Talbot will come in. He's hit a three. Coming out is Wilson. Well, as a coach, you can't do anything better than that. No. Get the ball to your best player and hope he can make two free throws in crunch time to ice the game. All right, he's got another one for a six-point lead. He rattled that one in. 19 seconds to go. They need six to tie. 63-57. Don't want to stop the clock here. Humphrey will get it right corner. Fade away, off balance, three, back iron by Talbot, rebound, batted, batted, taken on the offensive end, layup no good, but a foul with six seconds to go. Weaver got the ball, and he was fouled. That's not the best thing in the world, Coach, but it's better than them getting three because you're up six, and there's only 6.8 seconds to go. Well, I, I, the best thing to do is not foul and don't stop the clock. Well, and I, you know, that's what you do right there. I mean, uh, the only chance they have is to make two free throws, steal the inbounds, and hit something stupid, and <laughs> the, it goes into overtime again. Well, Weaver will be at the line. Fountain committed the foul. Tigers have done this with Fountain and Hannibal uh, on the floor and Hayes, three of their uh, reserves. Free throw is good by Weaver. So it is a five-point game with 6.8 seconds to go. Uh, this thing is not quite done yet. Well, it, Unless you're still going to have to get the ball in yeah, one that, time. That's the key. Run a good play to get the ball in bounds to Miller again or, or, or your second-best free throw shooter. Cam, probably, whoever Coach McMahon thinks that is. And the free throw is good. Walker will come back in for them. 63. Uh, McMahon has moved into the other side of the bucket. He was on the left side as we view it. He has now moved to the right side. He will run the baseline to the left. Looking to get it in. Does the Miller almost stolen. Miller not fouled. He got it off to Hannibal. Anytime. LSU will play keep away. The ball will be in the hands of Fountain. The horn will sound, and this ball game is over. As Coach McMahon and Coach Young.